They say seeing is believing. Well, I saw it, and I still don't believe it. Minster hasn't been to a state championship game since 1989. That year, they won it all. This year, they're back thanks to two one-point wins in the playoffs already this season. And, of course, in typical fashion, Wildcats had coach Jaron Stokes rocking the shorts despite the rain and cold weather. Now, the Wildcats trailed 7-0 to Kirtland in the Division VI state title game. Bryce Smeesing, the reverse, scores. And the defender nearly slides and takes me out, but more importantly, the extra point failed, so it's 7-6. Second quarter, Josh Nixon to top 22 selection, Eli Wolf Minster taking a 13-7 lead. Now the Wildcats were driving and looking to take control, but a second unfortunate interception on an odd play. Matthew Finkler one-hands it, then Kirtland on offense, faking the run. Finkler gets free. Everyone, including myself, was fooled. 48 yards, and it's a 14-13 lead. Minster answers less than 17 seconds later. Nixon to Schmeesing, 68 yards to the house, and it's 20 to 14 with two and a half to go in the first half. But check out Finkler, by far the best player for Kirtland, goes up, gets the pass, making a play, and it's 21-20 at the break. Third quarter we go. Nixon to who else? But Eastern Michigan commit Eli Wolf, 22-yard connection, and it's a 27-21 lead. Kirtland, though, would score back-to-back -back touchdowns for a 35-27 lead. Evan Hulesman scores from three yards out. Two-point conversion, though, it fails. So it's 35-33 with a PAT missing early on, looming very large. Kirtland seemingly takes control with this touchdown. 4-18 remaining. They're up 42-33. But back come the Wildcats. Hulesman, two yards out. 42-40, just under two minutes to go. Even with three timeouts, need an onside kick because Minster couldn't stop Kirtland late. It bounces just right. Wildcats have it. Now here's the play that's going to live forever in Minster history. Nixon to Wolf gets the block and he cruises. 51 yards to the end zone and Minster fans are going crazy. 46 42 and the Wildcats get the stop and they hold on to win their second ever state championship 46 42. Take us back three months ago. You, we would all said no, absolutely no way. Hey, two months ago, four weeks ago, I just uh, they, they, these kids have worked their tails off. So very proud of them. That means zero push ups after games or practice anything. We've done those after every lifting, after everything. Every single football day, we've done 25 push-ups this whole year. For the 25 years, we haven't won, and now it's zero, and I'm happy for that. A huge sense of pride. I mean, the work that the whole team has done, I mean, I, I want to say that these guys deserve it. Um, the way we work, we work, we don't work like other people. And uh, I mean, Kirtland, like I said, they're a great football team, and I mean, they really gave it their all, and we gave it our all, and just a little a few points like that can change the game.